hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how to draft a princess that bustier and if this is something you are interested in please continue watching and let's get started so as you can see i already marked about one inch at the top of my paper this would be a guideline for my shoulder slope so i folded my pattern paper into two like this so if you are drafting on the material you also have to fold your material into two so the first thing i'll do is to divide my shoulder measurement by two my shoulder is 16 and 16 divided by two will give me eight inches and i'll simply mark that eight inches at the line i marked at the top of my paper so the next thing I'll do is to mark my neck width. I want it to be 3 inches. You can extend yours to about 4 inches or more than, but I want mine to be 3 inches. Then I'll simply mark it at my at the top of my paper like this. Then at that part, I marked my shoulder measurements. I'll come down by 1 inch on my shoulder slope. Then I'll use my ruler to connect like this as I'm connecting my neck width to the one inch I marked at my shoulder slope. So the next measurement I'll take is my armhole measurement, which is eight inches. And the formula for that is by dividing your bust circumference by six and adding 1.5. Mine is about 7.8, but I added, I approximated it to about eight inches. And I'm simply going to connect like this. Then I'm also going to connect like this. I'm just drawing that, I'm just extending the line. So the next thing I'll do now is to draw my armhole curve. And I'm going to simply divide whatever I have on my armhole by two. I have eight inches, eight divided by two is four. Then I'm going to come out by half an inch at that mark I made. I'm simply going to come out by half an inch. Then I'll simply connect like this. To my shoulder then right now to get my um, curve I'm going to divide my bust circumference by 4 which will give me 9 inches my bust circumference is 36 36 divided by 4 is 9 and I'll mark it on my under my armhole uh, measurement that I took then I'll simply make a curve from there So right now, I'm going to take my neck depth, that's how low I want the neck to be, and I'm using 3 inches. You can use 4 inches or 5 inches, depends on you, but I'm using 3 inches, and I'm simply going to connect the line like this. So right now, I'm going to take my horizontal measurements, and the first measurement I'm going to take is my shoulder to my bust point, which is 10 inches. I'm just going to mark it across my paper like this. Then I'll take my shoulder to my under bust, which is 13 inches. Then the next thing I'll do is take the shoulder to my waist, which is 16 inches. So I'll just use my ruler to connect those dots that I made. So this is my shoulder to bust line. That's my shoulder to my um, bust point. Then the next dot is my shoulder to my under bust. I'm just simply connecting the dots that I made. Then the next one is my shoulder to my waist. So right now, I'm just going to label them. This is my bust point, this is my under bust, and my waist. So right now, on my bust point, I will divide my nipple to nipple measurement by 2. My nipple to nipple measurement is 8. 8 divided by 2 will give me 4 inches. I'm simply going to add half an inch to that 4 inches for my ease. So on my under bust, I will take away that half an inch I marked on my bust and it will give me 4 inches and I will do the same thing on my waistline so I marked 4 inches I marked 4.5 inches sorry on my bust point then I, uh, I marked 4 inches on my under bust and I marked 4 inches on my waist 
So all you need to do is just use your nipple to nipple measurement to determine um the dart of your princess dart. So to connect my shoulder to my um dart, I'm going to mark my armhole circumference. I'm going to take the measurement like this. You just place your tip at the beginning of the paper. I'm going to do that again. I'll just mark whatever I have on my armhole curve like this. So it gave me about um, 9.5 and I'm going to divide that by 2. So whatever it gives me, I'm just going to place it at the middle of my armhole curve like this. So I'm simply going to use my curved rule to connect like this. I'm going to connect it to that po uh, my bust point, that mark on my bust point. I'm going to connect it like this. So right now, to um, determine the curve at our under bust, I'm going to take two inches at my under bust, and this uh, measurement varies. For both sizes from size 36 to 42, you can use about 2 inches. But if you are on the smaller both size from maybe size 34, 32, 30, you can use about 1.5 inches. But if you are use if you have a very small bust, you can use about 1 inches. 1 inch, sorry. For me, I'm a bust 36 and I will mark about 2 inches at my under bust. So the same two inches I took at my under bust, I'll also take it on my waistline like this. Then I'll simply use my ruler to connect both dots. So the next thing I'll do is to come down by one inch from my bust point. I'm sorry I already marked that line, but I'm just going to do the same thing. I came down by one inch, then I will um, use my curve to make a curve from that one inch I came down by to my under bust, to the two inches I marked at my under bust. This is to give it a very good form so that the um, bust will be able to enter inside very well. So I'm just going to mark it like that. Please, if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to subscribe and share. You can also like the video. So the next thing I will do is to mark 1.5 inches on both sides of this line that I made. That's my armhole um, line. That's mark on my armhole. I'm just going to take 1.5 inches on both sides. So I'm going to divide the 1.5 inches by 2. It will give me about 0 0.75. I'm just going to use my tape to divide it since I don't have a calculator near me. So whatever it gives me, I'm just going to place it in the middle like this. And I'll mark whatever I have on both sides. So right now, on my bust point, I'm just going to come up by one inch. I'm just going to place it like this and I'll mark one inch on top like this. This is also to give it a very good curve. And um, I'll use my ruler, I'll use my ruler to um, connect like this. I'm just going to connect that mark I made on my armhole to the one inch I came up by on my post point. I'm simply going to connect like this. Then I'm also going to connect at the other side too. At the other 0 0.75 I marked. I'm just going to make it rule like this. So right now the 1.5 I took on both sides, I'm going to extend it at this part of my armhole. This is to avoid any shortage. I'm just going to mark the zero points. Um, I'm sorry, the 1.5 here like this. So that when I'm joining, it doesn't come out short. Mm -hmm. 
so i'm just going to use my ruler to connect like this i'm just going to connect that 1.5 to the other mark on my armhole so since i've extended the armhole i'm going to have to create another armhole entirely so the 1.5 i took on my armhole i'm going to mark it here like this So I'll just use my curved ruler to connect like this. I'm just creating another armhole entirely. So right now I'll simply connect this line. I just want to extend this um, chest line. So right now on my bust, I will simply um, be adding 1.5 inches since I've already taken my bust circumference on my armhole. So the 1.5 inches I'll be adding now is my allowance. So the next measurement I'll take is my under bust circumference. My under bust circumference is 32. 32 divided by 4 is 8 inches. I'm going to mark that 8 inches. Then remember these 2 inches that we took out from there. I'm going to add that also to avoid any shortage. Then I'll also add 1.5 inches for my sewing allowance. So right now, I also take my waist measurement. My waist divided by 4 is 7.5 inches. I'm going to mark that. And I also add these 2 inches that I took at this place. Same way I did it at the underbust. And I'll add 1.5 inches for my sewing allowance. And I'll simply use my ruler to connect the lines straight from my bust to my underbust and to my waist. So right now I'm going to add 1 inch for my allowance. I forgot to add it at the beginning. You can also add it on your uh, material, but I prefer to add it on my pattern paper. And I'll simply use my ruler to connect like this. Then I'll also use my ruler to join this part together. And I'm also going to connect this part like this. So I'm going to use my curve root to simply give the, um, the neck part of my blouse a curve. So right now on my shoulder, I'm going to add half an inch for my allowance. So it doesn't come as short at the shoulder part of it. So I'm going to connect like this with my ruler. So right now I'm going to use my scissors to cut it out. So please watch closely um, on how I'm cutting it so you don't make any mistake. So this is what it looks like when you open it up. This is how it will look. If you are cutting on your material, it will also look like this. 
So right now, I'll just go ahead and draft the back. For the back, my paper isn't folded into two. And the first thing I'll do now is to take my zipper allowance, which is on 1.5 inches. If you are cutting on your material, please make sure you fold your material into two and um, take your zipper allowance also. So I'm simply going to use my ruler to connect that on 1.5 inches I took. This will serve as my zipper allowance. Then I'm simply going to label it. So right now I'll take about one inch at the top of my paper. This will serve as a guideline for my shoulder slope. I also took this one inch at the front if you remember. So right now I'll take my shoulder measurements which is 16 divided by 2 it will give me 8 inches and I'll also take my neck width of about 3 inches which I also took at the front then I'll come down by 1 inch for my shoulder slope and I'll simply connect that part to my neck width then I'll come down by 1 inch also for my neck depth you can come down lower if you want and I'll use my ruler to connect like this. So right now, I'll take my um, armhole curve, which is about 8 inches, the same measurement I took at the front, and I'll simply connect like this. So right now, I'll divide my bust circumference by 4 and I'm simply going to mark it on my armhole and I'm just going to connect this for my chest line and I'll connect like this. I don't have to come out by half an inch like I did at the front for the armhole. This is because the armhole at the back is different from the one at the front. So right now, I'll take my shoulder to my bust measurement which is 10 inches and I'll take my shoulder to my under bust which is 13 inches it's just the same way I took it out of front and I'll also take my shoulder to my waist which is 16 inches then I'll simply use my ruler to connect So I'll also add one inch for my sewing allowance at the damp part of the um, blouse. Then I'll use my ruler to also connect. So right now I'll divide my nipple to nipple measurement by two which will give me four inches and I'll mark it straight down on my paper like this. This time around, I'm not adding allowance because this is the back. So at the back, you can decide to just use your normal dart that's taking um, half an inch on both sides like this. Then you come down by one inch at your post point. Then you simply connect like this. So all you need to do when you're sewing is just to fold that part inside like that. But for this tutorial, I'm going to be using a princess that. So right now, I'll take the circumference of my armhole like I did at the front. I'll just measure it like this. Then whatever it gives me, I'll divide it by two. Then I'll mark it on my armhole like this. So from that mark I made at my armhole, I'm simply going to go up at about 1.5 inches. Then I'll use my curve drawer to connect like this. So I'll just use my marker to shape on that side like this to avoid any bulge. So right now I'll take one inch at this part to avoid any shortage at the armhole i just come up by one inch 
and i'll use my curve to just um connect the um uh, the extra one inch i took at the armhole i'm just going to connect it like this so i already took my bust circumference at the armhole i'm simply going to add 1.5 inches for my sewing allowance so right now i'll take my under bust circumference my under bust circumference divided by four is um eight i actually made a mistake that's why you're saying about two marks there but i it's eight and i added 1.5 inches for my sewing allowance i'll do the same thing at my waist i'll divide my waist by four and this um whatever i have at this dart part which is about one inches i will include it there that's if you are using normal dart for the back of your princess dart then i'll add um 1.5 inches for my sewing allowance also please don't forget to add this one inch at the dart unless it will come out short so right now i'm simply going to connect So right now on my shoulder, I'm going to add half an inch for my sewing allowance like I did at the front. Please don't forget to add your allowances. It's very important. And I'll just go ahead and connect. So I'm done drafting the pattern for the back and I'm simply going to cut it out. Please watch closely on how I'm cutting it. Since I'm not going to be needing this dart at the back, since I'm using the princess dart at the back, I'm simply going to cut out um, the dart. so this is what it looks like after cutting it this is the back part of my princess that so this is what the front and back of your princess that will look like and in my next video i'll be showing you how to cut on your material and how to attach it together if you've not subscribed to my channel please don't forget to subscribe i'll really appreciate if you do so Thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.